Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Pallavi Sharma and today I am taking you on an enchanting journey to the island of caves. Not very far from Mumbai are the Elephanta Caves on an isolated island which are also declared as the world's heritage site by UNESCO. The only way to reach the island is by a ferry which you can conveniently get from the gateway of India. A surprising one-hour journey will take you to your destination. In commute, you will witness a fleet of ships big and small. Depending on the weather and season, you may find some seabirds flying along. Now here is your first tip if you are visiting Elephanta Caves. We visited the caves during the peak of summer, which was definitely not the best season to visit Elephanta Caves. So if you are ever planning a trip with your family and friends, make sure it's during the winter season. There is a very fascinating story behind how the island and the caves got its name. And it goes like this. When the Portuguese first approached the island, they were taken aback by a huge figure of an elephant and in astonishment they screamed elephanta later the huge elephant figuring was moved to main mumbai but the name tagged along ever since once you get down from the ferry a toy train will take you to the entry gate from here you have to climb 120 stairs to reach the entrance of the caves so here is another tip before you start climbing stay hydrated keep a water bottle handy but beware of the monkeys because they will snatch your bottles at the first chance they get as you enter the caves you will witness gigantic monolithic sculptures of Lord Shiva depicting different phases of his life. Every sculpture representing art and poetry carved into every stroke precisely telltelling a story representing an anecdote. These mesmerizing, timeless, colossal structures were created as a tribute to Lord Shiva. As you move towards the center of the cave, you will find a small room with a huge lingam. Although most of the gigantic sculptures have been destroyed by the Portuguese and other invaders, but they were not able to destroy the charisma of the rock-cut caves. Everything about the caves is so gigantic and so fascinating you will be mesmerized wherever you look. So the next tip is to hire a guide. He will not only reveal fascinating anecdotes behind every sculpture but also take amazing pictures. There are three more caves around the main cave which have sculptures of other deities like Lord Shiva. Finally, we came back to our ferry for our journey back home where the setting sun set the stage for a blissful evening and the relaxing breeze took away all the tiredness.